want to thank you both, and I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general. I keep calling him general, but my, my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Uh, I want to make sure we thank the secretary for all he's done to try to implement what we've just talked about and for recommending these two women for promotion. He was talking about his uh, secretary of defense and the Pentagon, but Biden managed to forget the names of both of those things. So let's roll those two clips, please. The vast majority of economists left, right and center from Wall Street to the to the private uh, private uh, 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 economic uh, uh, polling initiatives. The economists, as I said, left, right, and center, say, in addition to the needs the people have, we need this to grow the economy. That if we haven't spent this money and recreated the kind of incentive for people to be able to make a good living, that we'd be in real trouble. I just want to thank you both, and I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general. I keep calling him general, but my, my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Uh, I want to make sure we thank the secretary for all he's done to try to implement what we've just talked about and for recommending these two women for promotion. Thank you all. May God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Listening to President Biden marking international. So uh, uh, he doesn't know his Secretary of Defense. No, it's it's the guy that the runs Secretary. that outfit down there. Who runs that outfit? That outfit. And we, we don't even know. <laughs> is that the Pentagon? The Pentagon. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he can't remember <laughs> no, that, the Pentagon. That funny what looking office Pentagon? building. You know? <laughs> what is that outfit? It sounds, and I, I don't mean to be glib about this, I, I had a grandfather who was suffering from dementia, and it sounds like something I would have expected yeah. to hear from him. Absolutely. The guy down there. Yeah. You know, at the place. It just, <laughs> they must have forgotten Biden's teleprompter for this, or else so, he could have just read right, it I was thinking about it. that. I was thinking about that. If you're going to be... Barack Obama was many things... One thing you could say, he was actually super disciplined out there. He was disciplined on message, I think. He was very disciplined when he was giving a speech, right. too. And he didn't wander. Biden has this mm. thing, though. He he's he likes to engage with the audience. He likes to try to draw energy from them. Sure. And he just can't help himself. He has some, an idea pops into his head, and he says it. But it's not promptered. And then he's stuck. And he makes it halfway down a road right. and then does it like a doddering old person. He has no idea where to go from there. You often have conversations like this when you're, you know, in, a, I hate to say it, but in a retirement home or <laughs> in assisted living facility, uh, you know, you, you meet people like this. Yeah. You, you, he he just right. escaped Cuomo's homes by <laughs> yeah. that much, man. By and, that much. And uh, it's, it's, it's very sad. It is. But what you, what you really have to do is you have to examine the heads of the people that would elect someone like this. Right. Because he clearly, we knew before the election that this man was not playing with a full deck of cards. And as time has gone on, it's becoming more and more obvious as each day passes that he is incapable of being president of the United States. And... Uh, he really should be removed. You know what this this reminds me of, and we we can talk about how he looks and this right. and that, and and yeah, we we're kind of looking from the outside. We're on the outside looking in. But you know what this really makes me think of is when JFK met with Khrushchev, and remember that first time JFK's back. He, you know, yeah. he had back problems for years. Um, he was heavily medicated. Khrushchev judged him to be really not all there, kind of a wimp. And after that, you end up having the Cuban Missile Crisis because Khrushchev figured, ah, this guy's a pushover. This guy's a pushover. Well, if I was if, Iran or if I was China or if I was any other uh, exactly. leader around the world that, that hated the United States, this is the time I'd move. <laughs> 